Well, there we go. It's fairly repeatable. Now, you may say, oh, yeah, but it's not quite right. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, it's a little bit hard at the current jerry rig stage to feed this in terribly well. What I really need um, to feed this in more consistently, I mean, the, cons uh, the curve is consistent, but look at the width difference. Boom. Big bugger. Big one. Whereas this is half inch, yeah, three quarter inch, three quarter inch, probably three eighths, you know, and this is the thing. As a result, when you come down to the end, uh, you know, it's been fed through a little bit this way, a little bit that way, a little bit that way, a little bit that way, and you sort of end up. But when you actually template over the top of those, they should all be fairly consistent. Uh, that's the thing, because she's all jerry-rigged, it's, um, I'm sort of uh, setting it up, uh, shooting blind a little bit. And uh, if I was to go and use white fabric and get, you know, lines probably half inch apart with my fabric texture down there, I'd be right, because the blue texture, I'd need white fabric or maybe that beige fabric, and I could sort of fairly consistently get it to occur but yeah the actual general shape of the curves seems fairly all right but it's just the way I've initially fed it and the angle I've fed it uh, into you know the uh, device that will allow it to then run an actual you know start from the top here and, and go that uh, sort of causes it to be a little bit offline because I'm just sort of doing it by eye. So yeah. And there's a lot of clobber in the way too. To be able to do it by eye. Not heaps but enough that it's uh, not as good as it could have been. But anyway. it's uh, It seems very consistent. I'm quite pleased with, uh, with that. 